So we made it to the third and final week of my series reviewing the main movies in the Predator franchise leading up to the Predator, and that means today we are talking about Predators. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Sean Chandler, and I started this channel essentially because I was driving everyone around me crazy talking about movies way too much. If you can relate to that, you're probably in the right place, and I'd love it if you join me down in the comment section and tell me your thoughts on the movie Predators. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Is it somewhere kind of in the middle? I'd love to hear your take on it. Let's get started talking about the good. Probably the absolute best thing about this movie is that it gives you more of what you loved about the original Predator. You're in a jungle setting with a bunch of killers and, of course, course, our Predators, the Aliens. And one of the things that makes the movie interesting is that the title of the movie Predators refers both to the aliens as well as the humans. And so you're creating a scenario in the concept of the movie that gives you a whole bunch of fun scenarios with guys with gigantic machine guns or duking it out with the Predators hand to hand. All the things you loved about the first one, you get it more of it in this film and new kind of takes on it because they're deepening the mythology of the Predators by helping us understand that they have these game preserves where they take humans to them. All the different things about the movie kind of expands the universe of the Predators and so all that makes for a fun Predator film. Speaking of our human characters, there's a nice little cast in this movie where they got a bunch of kind of these character actors to populate the film. Whereas the original Predator kind of went for all out macho guys this one has a variety of different types of personalities that could play different types of killers. So you get like Danny Trejo essentially playing the character Danny Trejo plays in every movie except he's battling predators. Then you've got Topher Grace in his own little kind of different quirky role that makes sense to be in the film. You got Adrian Brody, you got Walton Goggins as one of his craziest characters he's ever played. And so that makes for a fun type of movie where you see them as killers. It makes sense that they're battling the predators, but it's not just a copy of of the machoism of the original. Another thing I enjoyed about the film is that the plot uses kind of this kind of classic sci-fi trope of a group of strangers being put in a place with a bunch of things going around where they have to work together to get out of the box. So there's a movie called Cube that has that principle. There's an episode of Star Trek The Next Generation that's done it. And I think it fits really nicely into the world of the predators, where the idea that the predators would put people in a game preserve and it's kind of like this group that has to figure out how to survive while working together and figuring out the traps that are going on. And finally, this movie has a great opening sequence. It just dives straight into it with no explanation. You're just, whoa, what is going on? So I rewatched the movie last week, having not seen it for a few years, and I'd forgotten how much the movie just literally jumps straight in onto the action, the mystery, the intrigue of everything going on. With that said, let's move on to the mixed aspects of this film. Probably the most mixed thing about this movie for me is the fact that they decided to go back to a jungle with a group of killers. It's essentially the safest direction that you can go with this movie. Like I said at the beginning, the movie gives you everything you want out of a follow-up to the original Predator, where you're back in that setting with a bunch of killers, a bunch of Predator action. It gives you all the things that are supposed to be in a Predator movie based off that original film but that's also the absolute safest direction that you can go with the movie. It's just spoon feeding people what they think they want. Now with that said, I think the idea of getting a group of killers from the earth of different types of killers and bring them to this game preserve on a different planet, if you're going to kind of rehash the jungle with a group of killers idea, that's the way to do that. That's an interesting idea that goes, oh, that's, that's a predator movie that I would like to see. So while the premise in certain ways is incredibly safe. I also think it's pretty interesting. The other mixed aspect on this movie is the Topher Grace plotline. On a conceptual level, I actually really like the idea of what they did with his character and how he kind of ties into things. And they do it as kind of this big twist reveal in the third act of the film. But I don't think the movie gives a good plot reason for his character to behave the way he's behaving. Like, it's not like, oh, now I understand what's going on in this movie. Like, it's not a twist reveal in the sense that makes for a good, powerful twist and reveal. It's just like, okay, that was a little bit clever what you did there, but why does it matter in the plot line of this particular movie? So that was a little bit mixed for me. It could have been incorporated a little bit better. From there, let's move on to the bad. This isn't a movie that I have a bunch of big, gigantic issues with. It's mostly kind of smaller little things that kind of bugged me a little bit. First off, the third act rehashes the Predator a little bit. It's, it plays too close. I mean, you literally have Adrian Brody going, come on, kill me, kill me. Come on, come on. Kill me, I'm here, kill me. Come on. Come on. Come here, 
kill me. Let me heal! Kill me! No. Do it now! Kill me! You going, do we need to take lines from the original? Do we need shirtless Adrian Brody? Do we need the fire again? And so it felt like just a rehash, not doing something new in a way that was just too familiar. Second big gigantic issue with this movie is Adrian Brody just feels horribly, horribly miscast. And that's not because I don't like him. It's not because I thought that he was particularly bad in the movie, but making him the centerpiece of this movie and having him copy Arnold Schwarzenegger lines and having him take his shirt off, he just feels totally out of his depths. He's following up shirtless Arnold Schwarzenegger. It just, it just feels off. It, it's like, what am I, why are we taking his shirt off to see a skinny guy with abs? Like that's, that's not the same thing as Arnold with his shirt off. To be clear, he looks phenomenal. However, by rehashing what they did in the original, they invite the comparison to 80s Arnold Schwarzenegger. And by comparison, he's not in the same league. And so it just seems like if his character should have been a side character or the number two person, there needed to be someone that has an Arnold sized personality if you're going to do this type of third act in the movie. And Adrian Brody just isn't that. And they even tried to like tough guy him up. He, I mean, he's got a total Christian Vale Batman voice going on here where he's like, I'm not a nice guy. You don't want to trust me. Like doing stuff like that. It's like, we're overcooking it a little bit too much here. But honestly, for me, this movie, I, I don't have any big issues with it. Even the things I just mentioned, it's not like those are things that hold me back from enjoying it. Really, my issue with the film is that it plays it so safe that it's a movie that if I'm going to watch a Predator movie, I'll just go rewatch the original one. Every time I rewatch this one, I'm like, oh, yeah, I like this one. This one's pretty good. It's a good movie. But it it's not as good as the original one. So why not just watch the original one, which is an absolute action horror sci-fi classic. With all that said, go ahead and tell me your thoughts on it down below in the comment section. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did it disappoint you? Is it somewhere in the middle? All that fun stuff. I'd love to hear your take on it. As for me, I'd score this one a B and a 7.5 on the entertainment level. It's pretty good, but it's not particularly memorable. It doesn't make a big impact on you. If you like this video, be sure to check out that playlist to the left with some of my best rankings of some of the classic 80s and 90s action franchises as well as that playlist over there of my other Predator reviews if you enjoyed this one, of course. And as always, thank you so much for watching and keep talking movies too much.